Hi, in today's video, I'm going to teach you the basics of masking, which means creating a texture that tells our shader, our material, uh, where to apply a specific effect and where not to apply it. Why do we do this and how we can we use this to make my uh, our avatars better? Basically, for example, in the Puyomi shader, which is going, what we're going to be using uh, today, we have uh, effects such as madcaps, four of them maximum, and four emissions, and other stuff you can, you can mask. And by using this method, you don't have to use separate materials for all those different effects. For example, using like metallic effects on uh, meta metallic parts like jewelry or accessories. Or for example, I want to, uh, glitter to be applied to just a uh, specific part of this mesh. So I can do that in one material using masking. So why do we do that? Uh, we save up on material slots to make our material um, avatars more optimized, right? So today I'm going to be using this bikini as an example. And it's one material, one solid color. And I want to these rings to have uh, my metallic matcap here applied. So instead of making it two materials, I'm going to mask it in one material. So I have to put my bikini in Blender, which uh, I'm literally going to do that right now. Not from this folder. I have it somewhere in the, uh, in the assets. I actually have it here. So I'm going to import it. going to zoom in <clears throat> and I'm going to go into edit mode and into UV editing. So I see already that the UV is pretty clean, no overlapping. So that's cool. So I could literally, uh, paint my mask by painting all the parts that are going to be needed, but that'd be pretty difficult. So I'm going to do something a bit different. I'm going to select all my rings that I want the matcap to be applied to. Uh, not this one. I'm going to do this. So I'm going to do that real quick. Select these. Also, this one is just a bit hidden. And let's see from the back, there's two of them. Okay. Now that I all my, have my rings selected, I'm going to select them here in the UV editing. And I'm going to pr press G to move them outside of the tile. And now I'm going to go here and press A to see the whole UV map. So I want my uh, rings UV to be moved into this empty space. So to do that, I'm going to just put them together a bit more tidingly, I guess you could say. And I'm going to do this, select them, move them here. I'm going to scale them a little bit for high resolution. There we go. I'm gonna save my project. Bikini masking tutorial. And now I need to create the mask texture. So for that, I'm gonna, I can do this in Blender actually. So I'm gonna go into texture paint and I can see I have this wireframe of my UV here. This is not gonna be applied to the texture. It's just for me to know what I'm painting over. So I'm going to create a new image. Resolution should be the lowest you can go. I usually go 512 because for masking, it's like, it's enough. Uh, I need to make sure my color that I'm using is white and I have my paintbrush here. So I'm going to literally just paint over my parts here. And by this, I'm going to be telling my shader to apply my matcap to these, you know, parts that I'm have painted over with my white color. Be careful not to do, for example, this, because if you would do this, it would apply the matcap to also this part of the model, which you don't want. So this is, should be fine, but to be sure, you can also uh, take black and just like, you know, do this a little bit, just to make sure. Now I need to export my texture. So I'm gonna put it in my project. And I'm going to make it bikini, rings, mask, PNG. 
and I also need to export my mesh because I changed the UV map. So I'm gonna just go to cats, export. Um, I'm gonna export onto my bikini here. Now it's done, so I'm gonna go back to Unity. Everything's gonna be loaded in. Now I have to create a new material. I'm gonna name it bikini uh, uni maps. Change the shader to Puyomi, Puyomi 8.1. It can be any version you want, really. I'm using 8.1 tune. Uh, I'm gonna change the color, for example, so we can see the difference. I'm gonna do probably just black. Now I also gonna disable calling so we see the whole thing, the whole model. And in shading, I enable map cap and I put in my prepared map cap. I'm just, I can just drag and drop. And I also drag and drop my material onto the model. Now, as you can see, the map cap is applied to the whole thing. So this is where the mask comes into play. So I'm gonna click here and I drag my mask into the slot here. And now you can see it applied this map cap to only these wings just as we wanted. We can also like color them to make it maybe a bit more visible, add some emission. See, now we have little details and it's all one material. So it's like pretty optimized. So this is how you mask stuff. It's super easy to do actually, especially if you have really nice UV maps. Um, saves a lot of material slots, makes your stuff more optimized. So I definitely recommend doing it this way, especially if you're struggling with like, um, you know, optimization. So if this video helped you, let me know, comment below, like, subscribe. Uh, you can support me on my Gumroad and Booth, link in description, and I'll see you in the next video.